So at 10 years old, um, the Rhode Island, Rhode Island School Funding Formula, we have found has been successful in increasing the state share of education and thereby reducing reliance on property taxes and also has been successful in directing more resources to needier districts. However, serious inequities remain. And as Ben had pointed out, some of the poorest districts are the lowest spenders on a per pupil basis. And that is, um, you know, that doesn't take into account the greater resources um, needed to educate disadvantaged or ELL students. So they're, they're lower on a nominal basis, even without considering that. We tried to, and I think we did a good job with the last graph of using the foundation cost, which is, which takes into account this 40% bonus and this greater need um, to educate disadvantaged uh, students. But, um, but I just wanted to emphasize that, you know, we're looking at a Pawtucket or Woonsocket or a Central Falls and being low on a per pupil basis. That's, that's uh, completely neutral as to the demographics of their, uh, of their, of their student population. And it's certainly, that disparity is much more stark when one considers um, the, the, the student populations that they're required to, um, uh, to educate. Um, so if we go to the next, um, uh, these, are, you know, these are our recommendations. Um, the first is, and, and that um, we believe the state needs to continue to increase its share of total revenue and, and try to move more toward an even mix between state and local. Uh, and what this will do is, is um, continue to have us be less reliant on property taxes, which um, ends up creating great inequalities. Um, we, RIPEC does not support uh, more spending overall because we think we're relatively uh, generous. While we're you know, low in New England, um, the two states that are higher are much um, wealthier, both in terms of income and wealth, Massachusetts and Connecticut. Um, and I know we compare ourselves to them a great deal, but um, there is a you know, serious question as, as whether we can spend at their level. So we think there is enough overall resources. We'd like to see the state share um, increase. And we'd like to, incre we'd like to see um, increased aid targeted to disadvantaged communities. When the, when the school funding formula was put together, there was no separate um, uh, accounting for uh, linguished uh, uh, LEP students. It was considered at that time that they would be folded into the um, uh, the, the uh, students living in poverty. We think we should be considering perhaps a new um, additional bonus or or some account for um, uh, LEP students. Right now, they, there is categorical funding. There's over there's five point five million. We would advocate that that be folded into the uh to the formula and not be outside of the formula um then moving on um we think uh we believe that we should strengthen maintenance of effort requirements at least keep up with per pupil expenditures and this is important with the, these enrollment uh declines so we don't want school districts to be able to withdraw their contributions based on decreases in student population and instead stay up. Um, this is tricky, this maintenance of effort, because we don't think the poor districts can contribute much more. They already have uh, fairly high taxes in very low property tax um, capacity. Um, our fourth uh, recommendation here is that the school funding formula is almost entirely about inputs and not about outcomes. Um, and we believe that there needs to be some money set aside as part of the formula for, um, or, or in addition to the formula for school improvement. And um, we cite in uh, the report, uh, the Ma uh, Massachusetts model that um, uses some of this, but we, we've, we've created a system that is not really, it's, you know, it's called the student success factor, but it's it's actually just a it's just a mathematical mechanism to increase funding. It doesn't really relate to to outcomes. Um, number five is um, uh, these federal funds, which are absolutely massive um, compared to the size of the uh, of this whole system. Um, it's you know well in excess of a half a billion dollars. 
um, actually concentrated with uh, those districts that have the most disadvantaged children. Uh, Ride is requiring plans, and um, we believe in good faith is trying to influence the spending, but really, in my opinion, has no real authority. And we're very concerned about how these dollars will be deployed. And we actually have very little information as to what is actually happening with this, um, with these dollars. And then finally, um, we do support a constitutional right to education. This is a new position for RIPEC. Um, we think that court intervention is a pretty blunt, blunt instrument, but we think we need to do something to uh, try to instigate reform, both on funding, but also on uh, reforms that relate to uh, uh, delivery of, of teaching and learning in the system.